Hello everybody, myself Rakshita and from Sri Venteshwara College of Engineering, Bangalore. My topic for today's video assignment is Flat Plate Collector from the subject Non-Conventional Energy Sources. The contents we are going to see in today's video are Solar Collector, Flat Plate Collector, Components of a Flat Plate Collector, Working Principle, applications, merits, demerits, and finally the conclusion. What is solar collector? Solar collectors are heat exchangers that uses solar radiation to heat a working fluid, usually liquid or air. They can be classified in three groups. Flat plate collectors, evacuated tube collectors, focusing collectors. And today we are going to learn deeply about flat plate collectors. Flat plate collectors. A flat plate collector is basically a black surface that is placed at a convenient path of the sun. And a typical flat plate collector is a metal box with a glass or plastic cover which is called as glazing on top and a dark colored absorber plate on the bottom. The sides and bottom of the collector usually insulated to minimize heat loss. And we can see the pictures of flat plate collectors. This is how it looks. And now in this picture you can see a flat plate solar collector and the components of it. And we have a toughened glass cover, working medium outlet, absorber plate insulation layer to reduce heat losses, working medium pins pipelines, collectors frame and working medium inlet. All these components together forms a flat plate solar collector. Let's learn about components of a flat plate collector. First one is absorber plate. It is usually made up of copper, steel or plastic. The surface is covered with a flat black material of high absorptance. If copper or steel is used, it is possible to apply a selective coating that maximizes the absorbance of solar energy and minimizes the radiation emitted by the plate. The next one is flow passages which are also called as pipelines. The flow passages conduct the working fluid through the collector. If the working fluid is a liquid, the flow passage is usually a tube that is attracted to or is a part of absorber plate. If the working fluid is A, the flow passage should be below the absorber plate to minimize heat loss. Cover plate To reduce convective and radiative heat losses from the absorber, one or two transparent covers are generally placed above the absorber plate. They usually be made from glass or plastic. Insulation These are some materials such as fiberglass and they are placed at the back and sides of the collector to reduce heat losses. The next one is enclosure. A box that the collector is enclosed in holds the components together, protect them from weather, facilitates installation of the collector on a roof or appropriate frame. Now we have seen the components of a flat plate collector. Now let's see the working principle of flat plate collector. The working of a flat plate collector FPC involves the transfer of heat or thermal energy. The operating medium exchanges heat from the sun's rays. The heat absorbing plate of the collector is exposed to sunlight. As the sun rays hit the flat plate surface, a portion of their energy is transformed into heat. This leads to a rise in the temperature of the flat plate solar collector. When a fluid is passed inside the collector, the temperature of the fluid increases. As the heat from the absorbing plate heat is transmitted into the fluid, eventually the fluid transmits the thermal energy from collectors to the functional energy systems for different uses. It works on the principle of first and second law of thermodynamics.
the applications of flat plate collectors usually the flat plate collectors are used for both domestic applications and commercial applications let's see the domestic applications of flat plate collectors flat plate collectors mainly used in residential buildings where the demand for hot water has a large impact on energy bills this generally means a situation with a large family or situation in which the hot water demand is excessive due to frequent laundry washing for instance a family of four members consumes an average 100 liter of hot water a day at 60 degrees celsius Hot water of 100 liter capacity at 60 degrees Celsius approximate can be delivered by a single collector system of 2 meter square area. A solar water heating systems are generally provided with auxiliary backup in the insulated hot storage tank for the rainy and heavily overcast cloudy days. This is a simple domestic application where a solar flat plate collector is used for hot water purposes in residential areas. And we also have a tank which are auxiliary backup in rainy and cloudy days. So it's a good use, good application of a flat plate collector. The commercial application of flat plate collector. Commercial applications include laundromats, car washes, military laundry facilities and eating establishments. Solar water heating systems are most likely to be cost effective for facilities with water heating systems that are expensive to operate or with operations such as laundries or kitchens that require large quantities of hot water. And unglazed liquid collectors are commonly used to heat water for swimming pools. Because these collectors need not withstand high temperatures, they can use less expensive materials such as plastic or rubber. They also do not require freeze proofing because swimming pools are generally used only in warm weather or can be drained easily during cold weather. Now let's see the merits or also advantages of flat plate collectors. First merit is easy to manufacture. The flat plate collector is a simple design and can be easily manufactured unlike other solar thermal devices which are very costly. The cost of a plate collector is less when compared to other materials such as copper. Flat plate collectors are also cheaper to manufacture than curved surface concreters because of linear design. A FPC is used to collect and store solar energy on the roof surface or wall surface and then convey it through pipes to various appliances, space heating, water heating or air conditioning systems. Second merit is low cost. The flat, flat, flat panel heat exchanger system is quite cheap and easy to install compared with the conventional solar systems that cost more and takes more time for installation, also making it difficult for homeowners to install them themselves. The third merit is the flat plate collector is simple and easy to operate. The flat plate collectors are very easy to operate because they don't have to complex parts inside the panels. In addition, without any electric elements, flat plate collectors are also simple to install and can be easily operated by only one person. Now, let's see the demerits or disadvantages of flat plate collectors. Unlike other solar panels, the performance of flat plate collectors is very unstable, affecting their energy output. The performance of FPCs has been found to be affected by many factors like weather condition, geographical location, and local, local climatic conditions. The second demerit is insufficient storage. As the FPC is only designed to produce a limited amount of thermal energy, its storage capacity is also significantly less than that of other solar thermal systems. Due to this, the electricity produced by the system can sometimes be less than the electricity used by the system. Now let's conclude the topic. In conclusion, flat plate collectors are one of the most common solar thermal technologies and can be highly effective in providing sustainable energy for heating space and water. 
It is simple to construct and operate. However, it has some disadvantages that includes unstable performance and limited efficiency. It is important to identify your needs while looking at the various types of solar collectors. Some flat plate heaters can be connected directly to the building's HVAC system while other requires a separate electrical supply that needs to be monitored often depending on your specific application. As mentioned earlier, there are many benefits associated with using a flat plate collector as an alternative energy source for heating water or space. But given the amount of choices available in the market, it is difficult to make an informed decision. So, collectively, flat plate collectors are one of the best solar advantages you can use. Thank you for watching my video.